In this video, we take a look at the kit that I often choose to carry that I can access while afloat. The options include my PFD, the deck of my kayak, the fourth hatch, and the day hatch. This setup is for single day trips, paddling relatively short distances into challenging conditions with reasonably experienced kayakers. My sea kayak coaching work in North Wales has specific demands, which are reflected in the equipment choices I've made here. I'm often in areas of rough water with limited immediate landing options. The challenges are mainly a result of conditions afloat, where I'll need to have solutions to safety issues. Some kit needs to be available afloat, and it's important that everything is secure in rough water. In other videos, we look at equipment carried inside the main hatches of the kayak. We also look at kayak setup and many other related topics. I don't set up my equipment in exactly this way every time, but prefer to make decisions according to the factors that are present each day. The setup shown here is simply one example. In my PFD, I usually have the following items. A VHF radio, this one is waterproof and floats. A piece of repair tape to stick to a wet boat. Tape for a blister or a minor cut. A handheld compass, an energy bar, an emergency whistle and a marine quality knife. I'm also carrying a waterproof watch and a spare carabiner for various uses. My PFD fits well and is secure when swimming in rough water. It can carry my kit but isn't bulky. It's comfortable to wear all day without affecting my performance. I choose not to carry the extra weight of a hydration system. I've got a waist tow line, which we discuss in another video. On my deck, I carry split paddles securely held under deck elastics on my front deck. I've got a map or chart with planning notes in a small map case that I can stow in the day hatch at any time. I've got a hand pump under the front deck elastics. This is essential kit for me, as I often have rough water rescues without immediate access to an easy landing. This design is secure on my deck and doesn't need a lanyard to keep it in place. I also have a simple contact tow system that we discuss in another video. In the fourth hatch on my front deck, I often have the following items. A neoprene hat and paddling mitts. A small repair kit, including repair tapes and an emergency hatch cover. A useful tool for freeing stones from skeg boxes and an electronic flare. I've also got a plastic emergency survival bag and a personal locator beacon. The latest designs are compact enough to fit on the shoulder of a PFD. I keep the back deck of my kayak free from clutter to avoid tow line issues and to simplify rescues and self-rescues. In my day hatch, I've got a parachute rocket flare and an orange smoke flare. I've got a long sling and a throw line that we discuss in our tow line decision making video. There's a large airbag that can be useful for a hold boat. I've got a double XL storm cag that will fit most group members without removing the PFD. I'm also carrying a larger repair kit for shore based use. I've got a first aid kit and an insulated foil bag for emergency situations. I also keep food and drink in my day hatch and some additional safety kit. We look more closely at day hatch contents in another video. So there it is, a breakdown of the typical kit that I carry and the places I stow it for working days in my local sea kayaking environment. It's a flexible personal choice that I modify from day to day. It's compact, functional and covers the common and important issues afloat. It's unobtrusive, is not excessive, and lets me work effectively as a sea kayak coach and guide.